Well, that's cool. in the house. What's up? You no, know, I was gonna talk to you with you, man. How y'all yeah. What's going down with it? Oh, that's, oh, that's my. That's my little nigga right here. What's up, what's up cuz? What up, Murder Murder? Hey, look, that's the little homie right here. Look, my little nigga write books and all type of shit. Cuz, what's up, cuz? Yeah, what's up, Murder Murder? Hey, look, that's the little homie right here. Look, my little nigga write books and all type of shit. Cuz. Bob, I'm out here on the island, man. They got me on the big island of Hawaii, man. Oh, you out there? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. How long? We can't go past that. What kind of books you be writing? I write. I, me personally, I write. I write all kinds, bro. I I, I, I jump uh, genres from like street fiction to poetry to westerns. You feel me? Sci-fi. So I just. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't put myself in a box. What's some stuff you got out already? You know that you know if niggas want to check you out, where we can find it. Uh, Truth to the Streets. You know it's one of the hottest ones. The Bus, Live by the Gun, Die by the Gun, uh, Escobar's Revenge. I'm all over social media. Uh, Crip Arthur, Gang Tales, all over Amazon, Barnes and Noble, everywhere. I and they good too. Yeah, it's cracking. I got some shit cracking. Split, split no up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Didn't like it too. Hey, nigga, you remember you gave me that book at the beach, nigga? I down there read that motherfucker with nigga while we was at the beach that day. Hey, I'm about to drop the second installment, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stall y'all out, man. I'm gonna drop the second one. You know, it's five parts to that, so yeah, you know, drop, that shit, build it up. drop that shit, drop that shit, cuz. Bob, you been to Hawaii, nigga? You gotta come out here, cuz if you could, this shit beautiful, fool. This shit yeah, my, ni my niggas just left. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got some people down there. Hawaii fucking beautiful. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I got some lie. people. I, I, I'm, I talk to you off of here. To what island you on? I got some niggas down there, bro. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I got some real islanders down there, cuz. Huh. Gonna show a nigga great hospitality. That's right. Already. Hey, Bob, man, what you, hey, what y'all feel about? We was talking about this, uh, uh, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. You was following the shit about the QC and Offset little thing they got going on with. Uh, yeah, you ready to leave? I just seen. I was just seeing that walking the beach. You know what? Uh, you trying to part ways with him? Yeah, what happened? yeah. Well, he sued. He sued. Uh, he sued the label. He sued. He sued QC. I guess he trying to. He trying to branch out. Yeah, they, they, he they, he gonna own his uh, uh single shit. He trying to go solo, but you know QC still owns the all of them. Owns the rights to all of them. So oh, you talking about the little amigo nigga, Cardi B yeah. nigga? Yeah, yeah, he trying to do a solo project, but you know he st they still me tied to QC. Yeah, me personally, I think I think they better off as a group though. But I don't know, you know, I I really don't know, you know what I mean? I ain't never heard the nigga on his own, really. My thing is, though, I, I feel like they be, like you said, but I feel like they better off as a group. But I thought they was doing a solo shit in the group though. I thought you could do like drop solo shit with while still in the group though. You feel me? Like taste like. Well, Offset and Tiger, like, wasn't that solo? Yeah. But they were still in the group at that time. That's what I feel like they should do. That's what I would do. Like, everybody could drop their solo project, but we still a group, you feel me? Hey, no, I, I didn't even know they was getting into it, though, honestly. Yeah, yeah, all this shit came out today. Yeah, I didn't even know them niggas was beefing, girl. But I knew it had to be something. You know, them niggas damn near it. Went from the Migos to uh, what they start calling themselves unconfused. It was just uh, like a duo, damn near. For real? Ain't they yeah, all family yeah. though? Like somewhere down the line? I, I thought mean, they were related, so I'm sure like it's still gonna be, you know, that at the end of the day. But I, I, I well, don't know what really caused that falling out. Maybe the nigga want to go solo. Shit. Hey, you know what? It can only be two things to make niggas fall out, bro. Money, money, and then email. Yeah, so I pick I pick I pick up. Shit, them niggas, them niggas might know. Shit, we don't know because all them Rico's going up. Niggas, niggas hey, might God, be trying man. to get they might God, be trying God. to get separated from niggas. Hey, you know, crazy? I said this, I said this, I said this like a year ago, fool. And I hate to say it, like you know, I just call it spade a spade with all these Rico's cracking. Pay attention to all them landing niggas. Who was the first nigga to, br to branch away? The f if y'all really paid attention. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Lil Yachty, Yachty was the first nigga. Lil that nigga called for a whole Detroit nigga. Oh, yeah, Lil Yachty. If you ain't got it, it's a man, then you could just, you know. Yeah, the little burgundy hair nigga. 
But you know, little y'all, he 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 act dumb as fuck. Cause smart as hell. He he oh he see what's going on. He seen the future. Oh yeah, let me uh whoop whoop. Yeah, that's what it was. I saw they picked up one of uh baby artists today. One of little baby artists. Oh, they yeah. picked. They- they picked him up. I, I want to say well, his name is Dirty Tay. They said that he was there. like connected to some shooting see- allegedly like three months ago. Yeah, his name like Dirty Tay or something like that. Let me see if I find that shit. Hey, uh, it always be shit behind the scenes we don't be knowing about. You right. know what I mean? Right. So Cub right. probably really trying to separate himself from them niggas, though. You know what I mean? You know, that's, QC. That's def- what I got from it. Oh, no, you, you know. know- Hey, you know QC and Coach K and them, them niggas was real street niggas, cuz. You know what I mean? So, you know, the majority of niggas that make it like like that was real street niggas at first. You know what I mean? Right. And if they've been watching Young Thug, like- if they've been watching Young Thug then for 10 years, you know the changes go down. And, you know, and, and, and if, you put, if you put all the times together, they all came around the same time. They all yeah, fucking the same people. So hey, it, it, it ain't not hard to tell, bro. It's just hey, sit back and you watch. gotta realize and hey, you gotta realize the feds, you know how they get niggas, they watching you, and then they fuck when I see you angle mingle with me. Now they get on me, now they see me angle and mingle with that, FBA. That's how they hear me. Hey, split if you see the post I post you niggas already. Remember? You know, they, that's how they, 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 they I, know the I know how these niggas fight food. That's why I just sit back, you know, like shit be crazy, nigga. I done been through the whole system. Look at that shit. It's crazy. Yeah, they go down the chain. Oh, you, you contact him three times a week, or you contacted him seven times a week, or oh, oh, at exactly. the same time. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga, this shit real life out here. Yeah, that's real though. If I this shit hey, great. Hey, uh, I just wish niggas caught it. Like, we're going to be 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 going any yeah. the first people they grab is niggas that harm kids or women. Yeah, uh, 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 you know, yeah, that, Wait, that nigga shot a three year old baby. Yeah, bro. Can I get my yeah, so you don't think he can't go yeah. Kids? This, oh, this, you, this, this nigga shot kids. a three year old baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They say the baby they say he survived but had a bullet removed from his head. Oh yeah, I don't feel for that nigga. It is what it is. And he told do it is it is it what that say he told? Little baby artist Dirty Tay arrested for allegedly shooting a three-year-old in the head earlier. That's all they need. Yeah, that's all they need. They finna uh, come get them niggas. PF, that's all they need. Four PF a game. Hey, didn't they? They hey, didn't they say they had uh two more Ricos coming up or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, she said she say two more. Yeah, like, I don't oh, know who's the one going to be in Cali next. Who's going to be in LA next? But it's going to hit LA. It, it already hit it, but it's going to be it, tied into that. It, it already hit LA. You didn't see the fans when it uh, fuck with the Playboys? Yeah. I'm talking about the niggas in the industry. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm talking about rap that's regular gang shit. No, that's regular gang hey. shit. That's about these Ricos in the industry. But see, when, the, when, when, when they hit LA, the feds really going to. See, everybody called the police the feds. They, they, right. That's just the state. That just that's just the state. That's when they shit. hit LA, the feds that's coming when they hit shit. LA, though. Right. They ain't doing no state Ricos. They doing right. no federal Ricos. Right. Where that nigga ain't never coming home. Right. Yeah, man, that shit crazy, bro. They just gave the, they just gave the homie little Doc, nigga, thirty right. some years, thirty five years, nigga. Gonna yeah. Rico. Yeah, that, that, that shit. Hey, you know something, bro? I couldn't really understand that, bro. Cause I'm thinking like, man, Doc out here doing all this positivity out here, yeah. Whole bunch, of, you know, he go ahead. That's how they do it, though. You know how they do it, bro. When the nigga got a, that much influence with the positive side, bro, come on, bro. They're going to bring a thing, you know? They're going to bring, they're going to do whatever to bring a nigga down. Think about yeah. it. Larry Hoover, they will never let Larry Hoover out, bro. And that just be being honest. Because yeah. they know how much power. And they, Larry Hoover is the type, if he get out right now, he can call a million man march, fool. In a gang, in a street world. Big shit. Real, real shit. So you think they going to let him out and do that? 
I wouldn't. That is that is my opinion. Yeah. Tookie Williams. Tookie Williams had the had the had the had the uh, ability to reach. Nigga, if he would have been out, I swear to God, it would have been in a million crit marks in LA, fool. I think I think if they would have let Tookie out, it would slowly down the line. I ain't gonna say it would have happened like the next day. But within them, you know, shit would have changed, fool. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. They do have a you, you older than me, OG. Man, bop shit, bop, bop shit, motherfucking cut off. But on God, like, when he's got that much influence and power, you know, especially for the right shit, the, the trying to do the right cause, they ain't gonna let that shit happen, fool. You see that happen every, that shit is like a music video for us every day. Yeah. Nah, that's a good ass point, though, bro. That, like, the niggas that can really come out here and, 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 and like, put this violence to cease. They motherfucking they ain't letting them out. But, Jeff, Larry Hoover. You but, right. I want you to get to the appearance. How would you think if it took me over to out? My shit had died. Hey, Unc, no. You know, you know with Doc, though, bro? Hey, that's what I put when you seen on my last post when I said free my nigga. They don't care how good you do, my nigga. They going to always judge you off your past, my nigga. You yeah. know what I mean? They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, nigga, if you wouldn't change the world today, my nigga. Yeah, where the fuck my charger at? They don't give a fuck if you wouldn't change the world today, my nigga. They gonna judge you off all the bullshit you ever done. And then, you know what I think? You know what I, truthfully, what I think fuck the homie, though, bro? What's that? He showed his hand was too strong, my nigga. You got two of the biggest gangs. And y'all cause peace, my nigga. That means your hand. Saying. That means your hand is strong for the street. You got too hey, much my free. nigga. You charge one of the biggest black gangs and one of the biggest Mexican gangs in LA that been killing each other for 20 some years. You that means your hand is strong as a motherfucker, bro. If you if you can make that happen, you feel me? Yeah. And just just think about all the strong men that ever walked. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. You feel me? That's like they always want, they always want the niggas with the strong hands gone because your influence is too powerful, bro. Now just think, Doc was Doc was changing on the good side, right? Yeah. Now just mm -hmm. think, just think if he would influence so many other niggas to change on the in, in the good way. Now there ain't gonna be no need for him no more. Just think if we all stop crime, it wouldn't be no need for police, cuz. You feel me? But we I wouldn't need like, them. like in a way, in prison, bro, we police ourselves, bro. If we can really police ourselves and really have an honor system, bro, it won't be no need for the police, bro. Hey, you right, FDA. Hey, look, you know what's so crazy? I swear I was just talking to the homie right before. I was just talking to my homie on the phone you are right now, right? I mm -hmm. say it's crazy the way niggas mind in jail. The way niggas mind in jail. What's up, Big Deb? That's my life right there. Deb. Mm -hmm. Damn, somebody keep calling. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear y'all. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. That nigga, that nigga got that old ass phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh! Hey man, that hey, nigga hey. don't never carry a charger either. Hey man, I want it. Hey, we 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 uh, Bob introduce himself, man. Hey, my nigga, I, this is government right here. I, I call him Rich Crip, but this this Stanley James, bro. You know what I'm talking about? From he, my, the homie went from gang banging in the streets, bro. To being a whole published author out here, you know what I'm talking about, and that's Put why it, song, man. putting the song in a way that in a way that ain't been done. Yeah, I man, don't even I've been writing, I've been writing, bro. Like I've been writing my whole life, bro. Like you know, as a, as a kid, you know, write rapping poems and shit. But for, like professionally writing, I want to say like around 19, 20, when I was like, I'm gonna do it for about like twelve years. Yeah. 
Now, when you started off writing, like, what was the type of shit that you was into? Was it poetry, music, already stories? Well, when I got first, like, see, I was I was into everything. Like, I would write when I very first first started. I used to write uh poetry. Uh, uh I used to write poetry, the chat books. You feel me? I grew up in the poetry side of poems, you know, so, you know, every nigga did so. That's where I started, like learning and loving. So, 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 you know, so I thought it was a poem, but I always used to write just short stories, like you know, so. But I really took like writing a few novels seriously, probably like around 17, 17, 18. But like, I knew I could write, like I could write, you feel me? So that's when I probably started taking serious. And I, when I got out of jail, though, that's when I started putting them book format. So. I always been a writer, bro. That's why I say I always like. I feel like every every black man been a writer. You've been writing back since six years old. You're a writer. You feel me? Yeah. If you've been writing standards in middle school, you're a writer. But well, don't get naked. I'm trying to tell you, I'm on this line. So when you started like going about <laughs> when you started going about like publishing your books or trying to you know take that professional step. Like, how did you learn that much? You know, most niggas, like, you know, we grow up, we don't know that type of shit. I would, yeah. might just Bob, Bob like, can tell you shit, bro. You did it from the very beginning. I, I didn't know nothing, fool. Like, like I said, when I first started writing, I used to sell poetry chapbooks, which is like paper stapled together. You feel me? So I didn't learn. I didn't know the product, like how to get it uh, formatted, how to get it sized, what kind of cover, the kind of texture, the kind of letter. I didn't know. But yeah, uh, came a long way, my though. poetry book. When I've been hustling my poetry books, it's my nigga from Faux Trey, uh, Terry Roden. He was, he had a big uh, publishing company, No Breaks, which is still cracking to this day. So when you see me hustling and shit with my poetry books, I, I sent him some of my short stories, like, like you know, what's up? Because I was getting a lot of good feedback when I was in the county jail and all that. So then when he was like, man, I fuck with you, and I see you out here like, on your serious shit. So you're like, I'm going to plug you in. Like I don't want to sign you as an author to me for, say, I'm going to sign you like a joint deal. And then you have to put your own money up. You're going to have to do everything. I'm just going to put you around the people, nigga, so you can learn this shit up. Like, I'm not going to feed you. You're going to learn how to get your own shit. So yeah. That's pretty much what it is. So that's why I dropped my first book, uh, The Bus, Live, Live By The Gun, Die By The Gun, Under No Breaks. And I just started this shit. Once I oh, got you my talking about that nigga, uh, Tiny Dope? Dope. Yeah, little yeah, tiny dope. Like TD, yeah, yeah, that's my idea. That's no breaks publishing. Put me on, like nigga, he the one like put my foot in the in the in the in the in the industry world. You feel me? So yeah, you, hey, you came a long world. way, cuz yeah, you okay. came a long way, nigga. So I didn't yeah, know I how to I didn't know the editing process. I didn't know how to choose covers. So I just, nigga, I got money. I got you know I'm a street so, I got to change something. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, yeah. And if you can look at all my books from the from the bus to the one out to the last release, you can see each progress. Like, oh yeah, you can tell he's you know. Hey, hey Stanley, hey. man, I want to say something real quick, Stanley. You know, now we we know we know as a youngster, bro, you cause a lot of havoc in these streets. You terrorize these streets. But tell the people what you pushing right now, though. Oh man, like. I don't be on that negativity shit, bro. I'm on it. I'm putting my people on, man. If you follow me and follow my page, I'm putting people on for me in, in ways that they can help you. They found me. So it's not about like niggas set tripping or anything. Cause one of my first authors I signed is from 20 Crib. I'm from Four Corner Block. So that's like one of our worst enemies. You feel me? So one, and he was on the same shit. And, like, once you go to jail, Bob, no, once you go to jail and spirits the streets for so long, like really be around motherfuckers, you're going to be jailing with like, it's going to get to a point where. Like, nigga, you gonna build something, like, or, you know, stay away, nigga, too old, like, you know, so, but a lot of niggas' mind change once they've been pins and in jail, like, okay, nigga, we, just, we done, we done did so much shit, you feel me, in the streets, we done gave so much time, we done lost so many niggas, what do we own and what have we got from it? Because, you know, you can name a lot of niggas from your shit in your hood that been that street legends, but don't got nothing. Nigga don't, nigga they ain't put no style shit money in. Niggas don't, all they got is just a name. And I'm not with the just a name. Nigga. I'm with the, you know? So. Hey, you know what, you know what I know, what I don't understand, cuz, just like what you just said, though, Stanley, a nigga, a nigga go to jail and you be cool with enemies and all that. How do you get out and beef with them niggas and put K's behind? It? Nigga, you was just in there spreading with this nigga. Talking to this nigga, you probably know this nigga family now. He know yours right. and all this cuz like right. I ain't never been no fake nigga like that, bro. Like right. if I and fuck with you, cuz I'ma fuck with you with a thousand of my homies right there, cuz you know what I mean. 
And then it also just be like, nigga, at a certain page, like, okay, I don't, I can understand. Like, that's why I don't never try to go hard on my little homes or tell them what to do because, nigga, I was once 19, 20, 26, you feel me? I was once, nine, nigga, 18 with no kids, no felonies, no strikes, nothing, you feel me? So niggas going to grow up. But once you get to a certain age, like, damn, nigga, you ain't got no property yet. You 34 years old and you don't got, like, you ain't trying to get no property, no stocks, no bonds, no, you know, no, con like, what you want, nigga? Oh, you just own the the new pair of J's and the scat pack that you still owe nigga eighty two thousand for, and you only put four thousand down. Like you feel me? Like come on, bro. Like what niggas on? Like you take your trips, take care of your family. Like you know so. Hey, and that's, that's, why niggas, that's, why niggas, niggas, that's why niggas. That's why niggas. That's why niggas salute you though, cause because honestly, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I didn't know about credit and none of that, none of that shit, nigga. Till I was in my late thirties, bro. You know what I mean, right. like. And I really didn't give a fuck. And always, and that's one thing I always say. And one thing I don't, I don't never speak down on our people no more because nigga like you, Bob, is one of the smartest street niggas I know. But you was just, you didn't have that information at that time, so we can't fault you for like, damn, you whoop, whoop this old or a nigga, this is whoop, whoop, old because he don't. Nigga ain't never had that opportunity. I was around that. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas, it's not like a nigga knew. A nigga knew. The they get on the plane or on the buses, they go into the pen. Exactly. Niggas ain't never been outside of LA. Ooh, say, say that one more time, so, Stanley. Say that one more time. The, the, the niggas in my neighborhood, the only time they've been on a bus or a plane is they going to a federal pen or a state penitentiary. You know? oh, damn. So niggas don't yeah. know the information that the nigga that had that had the opportunity. Just say, okay, nigga, I could live next door to my homie. Cut don't have no mama. You know, he was an orphan. Nigga don't have it like me. We still in the same hood, though. I have the opportunities to go out the hood. Cut don't. So I can't sit up here and fuck cuz because, you know. So my thing is to inform cuz. You don't never speak down on the homies because they just didn't know. Hey, and you know what, though? It's it's a lot of shit we knew we just never applied or never or never took serious, my nigga. Like, you know, I knew about credit, but I never knew what it could do for you. Like, you know, a nigga never took it that serious. You know, we was always playing with street money, my nigga. Right. You know, we, we gonna get it how we live, my nigga. You know what I mean? Nigga gonna try to buy a house with cash money, my nigga. You know what I mean? Right. Niggas gonna try to go to court lines before they knew. You know how much you you better not take over ten to that court. You know a nigga right. that know certain shit, my nigga. You know what I mean? So it was. It, it's like you know you you don't apply shit. That's why I like to see young homies like you doing your thing, my nigga, and soaking it up like now. I'm gonna pay attention. You know I me. Mean? I want them niggas that sit just pay attention. Oh, come yeah. with. Oh, you can't go to the airport with that. Yeah. Oh, you can't. You can't do. Okay, today when I go, nigga, you know, you got to pay yeah, attention cool. to the surroundings of everything. Hey, I, that's why I try to show the young homies, low, like, you can still be who you is, my nigga. Just change your mental, though, dog. You know what I mean? Like, I would never tell no young homie nothing wrong no more, my nigga. You know what I mean? Because I never, Spliff asked me a question, my nigga, when I did my interview with Spliff, and I told him I didn't do nothing. I, I really think I did most fucked up shit than, than half of the niggas, but a nigga was covered though, my nigga, you know what I mean? So, it ain't like a nigga, you know, got this for just like a nigga had a pattern or something. Nigga didn't have right. no pattern. You know, a nigga, nigga was right. just going, moving how it came, my nigga. You know what I mean? But you know me. You know me, Stan. You know I can go anywhere. I I I I I hey, you know, a lot of niggas hey, can't do that shit. A lot of niggas can't even see their own hood. A lot of niggas can't leave their own hoods, cause you know I can. And not saying I'm Superman or nothing, but you know it's it's to respect a nigga show and a nigga give. You know what I mean? We like the same. You see, we we everywhere, nigga. We move, we move, we move. Real talk, nigga. Respect real it, talk. well protected, nigga. Yeah, how real talk. Like, how y'all feel like we can uh, do a better job in our community of educating our people on like financial literacy, like the importance of credit. Nigga saving money, little just little any time by, by doing it by, by by showing an example. You can't force a nigga to take knowledge, they can only observe and look. That's how the ones that really apply is the ones that just sit back and look for real. See, you got young homies, yeah. You got young homies like the young homies right now. You know, that's why I'm gonna let him explain that because he's showing niggas his in his generation and younger. Nigga, That's how this I what he's supposed to be doing. He's showing, he leading by example. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. He leading by example, That's bro. The best way, and then just be around like it, like like minded individuals. The yeah. more you know, you know what I mean. It only take fifty niggas. It only take like I said, it only take fifty niggas to, to you know. For real, That's really on the same page. For real, and my lead, my leading by example. See, see, a lot of these niggas, homie, and, and, and no shade to nobody, but a lot of these niggas just do this shit for the cameras, my nigga. A lot of these niggas do this shit for the. For the for the uh the government funding the cameras, uh, I do right. the shit for real, my nigga. I put real killers with real killers, my nigga, because I, I know I, I know like this young nigga. I know this out. young nigga's a nigga over out. there. This young nigga's a nigga over here. Bob so Bob Bob them, niggas from different size, nigga. All in yeah. the same room, functioning yeah. like we all nigga. It's black, nigga. Black, hey, nigga. Look. Bob was the real ones, so when, when Bob pull a, when he put the uh, crib call out, uh, crib call outside, boo. From all around, hey. bro. That's what I can say. And when I get them together, though, bro, when I get them together and break the ice in between them, my nigga, now that's a trend because he run things in his section. He running things in his section for his generation. You know, it's always that right. one, two, three niggas that everybody going to follow. You know what I mean? Everybody can be the general, my nigga. You know What's what I mean? On? You know, when you put them type of niggas together, and then you break they ice. That means you didn't broke the ice. Now when he with his niggas, he with his niggas. By them two niggas breaking the ice, ain't nothing gonna go down because they both will. Right. You know what I mean? This shit chess not chess. And a lot of these niggas, they just jump on these things, be talking that good. Nigga, I don't never see you niggas in no hoods, nigga. I don't never see you niggas at no barbecue, no picnics, no nut. Nigga, all I see is you niggas on cameras talking that shit. Oh yeah, we trying to do this. How you trying to do something, nigga? You ain't even respecting in your own turf. How you trying to do something, nigga? Like, what is you doing? What is you doing besides trying to get this little grant money from the city or whatever? Which you know, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. But I, I really feel like if you really was with what you was talking about, you would do it. I'm really with what I'm talking about, so it don't gotta be shown. It don't gotta be on no camera. It don't got to be on none of that. You know what I mean? You might see me, right. nigga, on the picture, nigga, with 10 bloods and 10 rips, and they all real niggas. You feel me? On the real. That, that's that's my that's leading Bob. by example. That's Bob, cuz. Yeah, that's my leading by example, bro. Uh, Cubby in the hood, and that nigga be in the, in the state boardrooms. I said, how is this nigga in the Coffee Carver Park, and this nigga is in Manhattan on the 73rd floor <laughs> on with the these white people in suits, and this nigga... Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, bro. You just gotta do you, my nigga. You know what I mean. And like I said, I ain't never been the toughest nigga. I ain't even trying to be, my nigga. Honestly, you know what I mean. I just know what I can bring to the table, though. You feel me? I right. know my worth. I know my worth in these streets, my nigga. You know what I mean. Bob, talk your shit. Bob, talk your shit. <laughs> hey, 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 huh? Hey, uh, it's real talk though, huh? You feel me, huh? You already know it's solid, huh? Hey, 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 Bob, hey, hey, hey. I don't think, I don't think no one tell. I don't know if Spiff ever gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. I've been on Spiff for the nigga head for the minute. I've been banging on cut. Like, how are you posting niggas from the city, cuz? And you ain't posting the crib. This nigga been fucking with the whole city, and you ain't fucking with the B. Oh yeah, I've been banging on cut. He broke the ice. He know, yeah. Hey, look. Hey, you know how I go though, cuz I can't even speak for cuz, but you know how I go though, bro. You know what I, I mean? Know. I know, you know, I was fucking with her. You know, a lot of these I, niggas. I think I was probably sitting in the dress too, probably like, nigga, don't come over here, don't come to my side, nigga. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <gonna> yeah. <today. laughs> hey, but you know, you know what I'm gonna tell you though, Stanley? I'm gonna tell you just like what you just said, you signed a 20 and they y'all worst enemies, dog from 20s and you know, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas, I'm not saying cuz ain't his own man, but a lot of niggas worry about what they homies gonna say to him or or, or say about shit, bro. You know what I mean? But like, we, you gotta realize, no, look, you gotta realize it's a lot of 20 niggas that's trying to be rappers. If cub posts you, then that's gonna I be like, oh, I already know. Look, 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 I already know. I already oh, know. Oh, 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 from both sides. Like, oh, this nigga signing cut, thinking like I'm trying to like, you know, just just sugar him or like, you know, put like they hey, nigga, like because a grown ass man taking care of his family, he's doing the same thing I'm doing, fool. And one thing, what you say, uh, 
I let totally say, understand. Let me say this, nigga. I, I, I post twelve of them, niggas. I, let me tell you something. How, I, when I hooked up with Bop, when I hooked up with Bop, nigga, you know, from not not everybody, but certain individuals in Bop, you know, in Bop's, from, you know, Bop's enemies, they they felt some type of way. That's all you gonna do. I don't give a fuck though, nigga. Right. I, I fuck with the look, hey, look, hey, look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you this one too. You know, I'm my boots, you know, like my family is from, I'm from Long Beach. Hey. And if everybody don't know, Long Beach, hey, 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 uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, I know them bunny other uh, niggas feel some type. Hey, look. <laughs> hey, you know when hey, I did the hey, first one? Hey, I, I know, know that nigga dirty and them feel some type of way. I hey, tell them I ain't on that though, cuz. Hey, I'll tell them myself I ain't on that bullshit, but don't come playing with me though. I did the interview with uh, 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 with, uh, Milk 74. You know how much nigga shit I got with that? And then I, I fucked with Pac Man. Like, oh, nigga, how yeah. you fucking with Like, nigga, I'm not from LA, bro. The politics, and I'm not even on that shit. Like, even if exactly. I'm not on that shit, nigga, I'm not from LA. The politics don't. I go fuck with the 40s, nigga. I'll go fuck with the, 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 the hundreds, nigga. I'll go fuck with the, the, the 107s, nigga. I, I'm, nigga, if you really in the hey. system, you fuck, you know niggas everywhere, fool. So it's not even. Hey, let me tell you something, though, Stanley. If you ain't ready to be ridiculed, bro, Bro, you ain't you ain't ready for this job, my nigga. Oh, you I'm feel it. It's just funny, like I'm just laughing, like, like you know, I'm from Long Beach. You know, our car is just got that niggas like, talk. Neighborhood, our our Hoover hey, car, bro. Like hey, that that's, that's, that's why when Unc said what he said, I seen that coming a mile away, my nigga. You dig what I'm saying? I yeah, I, 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 I been seeing that coming, my nigga. I'm on. I been seeing that coming, but you gotta realize the homie, the homie from Texas. He can fuck with who he want to fuck with, my right. nigga. He ain't he right. ain't, he ain't gonna tell me where them niggas at, and he ain't gonna tell them niggas where I'm at. Trust so, gotta be worried about the other bloggers. I, 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 I had never seen a YouTube bloggers started turning this shit to the streets. How is y'all all y'all YouTube bloggers beefing with each other? That shit is funny to me, cuz that's funny to me. You know yeah. why controversy like, sells, dog? Yeah. Hey, look, I just realized that's the homie uh Nina boy was talking about FDA, huh? <laughs> hey, that's cuz, huh? Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I just seen, I just seen some shit with Nina Boy saying something about F. That's the homie right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but see, bro, I be so much in my lane. I don't know that nigga, bro. I might even gonna pay him no attention, bro. That's I just know all man. the bloggers niggas is beefing with each other. They all trying to turn this shit to the. To, no, I ain't look, know that this shit. Controversy sells. Hey, controversy sells, my nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> See, blog, blog niggas try to beef that shit lame as fuck, man. Yeah, it is That's though, crazy. dog. Blog I'm really sitting up here mad at this goddamn computer, man. Hey, it is though, but look, I'm telling a nigga right now, look, <laughs> Unc ain't never crossed now on one of you niggas, and I ain't even on that, my nigga. I'm gonna tell you openly, my nigga. Unc, I'm, I'm, I'm not even on that, that bro. I'm, I'm gonna get the same energy the, the next nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna get the same energy the next nigga on. If we cool, we super good. We gonna tear it up like Teddy Smith did in the Super Bowl. Yeah, we cool, we super good. We gonna tear it up, let's tear this motherfucker up, nigga. I'm on the same energy the next nigga is, bro. You did. I ain't true. Y'all think they going to? Yeah. Nah, they'll probably have to pay that shit back. So they probably will. Who? Uh, nah, I just seen something about something about the. They gotta pay the PPP loans, but. Oh, uh, Kelly. The parents of the little girl, or uh, Kelly took advantage of got. They got twenty bands of PPP loans. Y'all think they going <laughs> They gonna take. They gonna. They gonna have to pay that shit back. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. What you, hey, you know? What I, you know what I don't understand though? Why y'all ain't told on R. Kelly 20, 20 years ago when he did the shit? That's a good question. What man, you wait right now? What would you wait right now to come out the Cosby? That's like Bill Cosby. How you gonna fault a man for doing some shit forty some years ago? Like. Bitch, why you ain't said nothing then? You know what I mean? Why you gonna, we're gonna run to the police as soon as it happened? How, how you let a nigga drug you more than one time? You feel what I'm saying? How you let something happen more? And I'm not taking up for that one of the niggas. I ain't taking up for that one of the niggas. But how you let something happen more than once if you didn't consent to it, though? You feel what I'm saying? Because the money ran out, it sound like. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't let nothing happen more than once, my nigga. 
Because the nigga stopped I mean? saying that 100 bands, 200 bands. Nigga, you know, that shit adds up after so much. You got 300,000 every month to 23 different bitches. But, but hey, hold up, Stanley. I'm going to say this, though. Uh, these, these, don't, don't, when no white women, when no white women said this allegedly happened, bro, this was, this was, this was pre Cosby show, uh, Bill Cosby. This was fat <laughs> Bill Cosby. Exactly. So he wasn't, he wasn't even seeing that type of money yet, bro. You know, he was exactly. still getting, he was what? getting a What? Uh, don't he miss the big. Hey, don't oh, miss the I'll big picture, my little nigga. Money in the nineties, he was definitely doing that money in the nineties. Don't, don't, don't miss the big picture. Oh, no, this no, shit no. happened before me and you was born, cause yeah, yeah this shit. He, was definitely, when he had his bald head. He had some money. God, had some money. He had his bald head. No, no, this, oh, no. He, he, Mr., he had money. Uh, uh, all these accusations happened in the seventies. That's when they said this shit took place. Who you talking about, R. Kelly or no? No, no I'm talking about Bill Cosby. Oh, you talking about Bill? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about R. Kelly. So let's think about this. This is, you know, we what? Uh, 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 we in the 70s. Oh, this, this, like, line. I this, line. Like, this like 10 years, 10 years after the Civil Rights Act was uh, was passed. Nigga, they really, yeah. if, that, if that shit really happened, bro, nigga, they could have they could have threw Bill Cosby under the jail in. You feel that me? Nigga yeah. said 10, that nigga said 10 years after the Civil Rights. What they got to do with that? Thing? I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey, that's hey. real shit. No, you got to think, Santa, think about it like this, bro. The white folks are still kind of mad. You know, the, 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 the like, they they wasn't still over this Jim Crow and all this shit. So if that shit really happened, bro, they could have made a zipper to this nigga then. You feel I, me? I, I know, I get what you're saying, Ooh, but shit. I don't think it was that way. I think it was the other way, the other way. I think they love him so much, we try to save you for so long. You feel me? I think it was the other way. We love you so much, Bill Cosby. You know, Bill Cosby was damn near that nigga of the niggas. Bill Cosby fucked up when he tried to do what them white boys was doing. He tried to buy that network, nigga, and they came yeah. Ass, but nigga. when was that though? When, when was that? He the tried Netflix? to buy NBC or something, cuz. Yeah. They, they, the they told that nigga you better uh, stay in your place. Now the uh the NBC shit happened in the nineties. That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's when he, that's when he was damn near over with though. That's yeah. what I'm saying though. In the seventies, they loved him so much. The seventies, the eighties, we trying to do so much to save you, but yeah, there's they, so much you know we could do. Yeah, hey, look. They love you more than enough. You, hey, look, you got to realize those things. Until, until you say some hey, look, bullshit, like you said, yeah. Hey, you look, gonna, you, are you trying to hey, buy look, it? Oh, yeah. Hey, no, look, Stanley, look. Trip trip off this, though. Trip what I'm finna say. That's just like a pro athlete, cuz, right? Or a singer, right? When he get a job, he taking care of 20 white families, my nigga. You got your you got your agent, you got the, the scout, you got your uh your uh, uh financial advisor, you got all these niggas that got jobs that's gonna send their kids to college off what you making, right? Now when we don't need you no more, we boot your ass up. They didn't give a fuck about Bill Kyle. We couldn't have one black hero, my nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean? I agree. Every nigga, if you look at it's it's never supposed to be all these rich motherfuckers that went to the pen, all these rappers and actors and nigga, that was supposed to be a way out, right? Right. Why is all these motherfuckers that been to the pen and when I mean niggas in bitches though? Women, I mean women in men. You know what I mean? Lil Kim's and all them like like Remy Miles and you know what I mean? Like it's a bigger, it's a bigger strategy, it's a bigger picture, my nigga, that niggas don't see, bro. Right, you know and still mean? get successful and still end up in prison. Yeah, right. exactly. Hey, look, Pico, and then and then, look, look how they flip it though. They flip it to make it like uh, to us that that is good. Like I was telling my home, what the fuck is fly about sitting in a pen on a four yard, smelling other niggas' forts, eating top ramens and chips, talking war stories, nigga? What's good about ain't shit fly about that, nigga? You know that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But 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 niggas dress it up. See, they make these niggas, what niggas don't know, these labels, they go get insurance on it. Well, I'm going to skip that, but these labels, they make niggas back in the day wear orange dress suits and get on a uh, Grey Goose, the penitentiary, you know, to, to glorify it to kids. It's just like they're doing this gay agenda right now, bro. They got, they got, they got kids, cartoons that's gay now. What's the first thing kids watch when you grow up? Cartoons, cartoons right? Cartoons. So, Cereal so, so. Cartoons. So programming they head, they gonna feel like it's cool to wear a dress. 
They're going to feel like it's cool to wear a purse. They're going to feel like it's cool to be with another man. You never gave them an option because that's what we see. When, when we was growing up, Easy e we saw Easy e Ice Cube. We thought it was cool to be uh, gangsters. We thought these niggas really was doing that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, and then mm. the shit right in your household and the shit outside. So niggas make it cool. They didn't flip the script to where we make it cool to go to jail or we make it cool to do, you know, evil deeds, fucked up shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why a nigga look at you like if you not doing it like you a square. No, nigga, you a smart nigga. Like the little homie. I always tell him, I always tell him, I always tell him, because one thing I always tell him that nigga, I done got so many phrases, bad phrases, just niggas from the, I said, nigga, and I stand on everything I say, because I think before I say, going to jail, guys, so I, and I told all the little homies that when they come, like, nigga, I just came up from a uh, gun heat or whatever. Going to jail ain't going to get you no points, bro. Going to jail is really going down, bro. You look stupid as fuck. Not, look fuck bro. But you, you know what's so sad, though, my nigga? When I first started going, I wanted to go, my nigga, because I'm hearing the big homies talking they stories. And, you know, you a little bitty motherfucker. You don't know what you signing up for, really. You know what I mean? It just niggas glamorized. Been, niggas was gangbang before they got pussy. See, I had it the other way around. Yeah. I got pussy before exactly. I got started gangbang. So, <laughs> and pussy, and what, you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh. hey. Hey, my nigga. Yeah. I no, get... And it's not funny though because I got a little homie cut that just that just nigga got a damn near fifty five years to cut even get his first piece of ass yet, bro. And that shit made me cry. Like, okay, hey, hey, nigga, I done did two years in jail. I done did two yeah, years in jail before I ever had some pussy. Cause my first nut was a jack off in jail, nigga. Hey, look, I did two years before I ever had some pussy. Cause you feel what I'm saying? And that's bad though, bro. You know what I mean, but they make it. They make it to where niggas glorify that shit. Like a young nigga, another young nigga want to go to jail to get his name up and all that shit. Like ain't nothing fly about that shit, cause you know what I mean. I'm not gonna tell the nigga the glitz and glamour of this shit, nigga. I'm gonna tell the niggas the heartaches and pains, nigga. How you hurting your mama, nigga? You know what I mean, nigga? How, nigga? Your mama the only person there for you, nigga. When shit go wrong, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, hey, I'm going to tell you the real on this shit, bro. You feel me? And my stories was different in jail. Oh, shit. I like this. This, this shit is boring, cuz. Every it day. Is. This shit is. I, that's I got so many fights. Like, nigga, fuck. It's hey, boring to the niggas that glorify. I done read this magazine a thousand times in two days. Hey, cuz. Hey, look. It's boring, cuz. Hey, Stanley. Hey, Stanley. It's it's only fun for that 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 fifteen minutes twenty minutes they let you out till you lay the yard down, and, and then you don't come out for another six months, and then you can go do the shit over again for that another thirty minutes. What's fun about that, cuz? What you sound like you saying niggas say, oh, cuz a rider. Anybody can do that, nigga. With ninety nine niggas behind them, cuz you feel what I'm saying? That's why I used to be on my homies that really didn't do this shit on their own. Don't do no shit when we 30 deep, cuz. You wouldn't have did this shit by yourself, nigga. Don't do this shit, like, cuz any nigga can get their points up when you got a million niggas behind you, cuz. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Any nigga can do that, bro. Like, my homies will tell you, cuz. I always like, nigga, no, let me get down here and up with it, nigga. We ain't finna rush a nigga, cuz. You know what I mean? That bullshit ain't nothing, bro. But right. everybody don't come from the old. Everybody don't come from that old cloth, though. You know what I mean? Not saying yeah. I did. I didn't rush the gang of niggas, bro. You know what I mean? But <laughs> hey, real talk. But when it all boils down, my nigga, like I'm gonna keep it all the way thorough, bro. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep it all the way solid, homie. I'm gonna keep it fair, bro. For real, yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas don't understand that shit, like, cause you just see. You just see the glory, like you All see right. what you doing, like 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 the big homie Monster Cody and, and, and gangster them. You know they open the door to write books in jail and all that shit. Like you know it should be way more authors right now. You know what that's I mean? why I, that's why I said nigga is so crucial. Lane, I'm in the way I'm moving, nigga. When you think of L.A. writers, I'm talking about the nigga L.A. Not 
not no 1950s, not no 1940s. I'm talking about the real LA right now, nigga. Yeah. They're all dead or in prison serving life, bro. Yeah. I see you. Know? I see you come from Shotgun, uh, uh, TV both. from Pro Trey. But it's not yeah. that many when you, it's not that many concerns. No, I know to that. Uh, when you go to the store, like 10 of us, fool. I know that, bro. I how know early, that. How early did y'all get introduced to the, the gang lifestyle? I was that's born in it, my nigga. Hey, I was that, born in it. Personally, like, which, how, yeah, how like, how early, like, age wise, like, was it just I was, that was I'm like, I, I was born in it. I, I was, I, my hood is where the house I grew up in. I was born and raised in, the, in the, like, in the heart of the hood. So, hey, the hospital I was born at is in my neighborhood, bro. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I came straight to it, my nigga. Like, like I'm Lil Bop. My uncle was Big Bop. Like, I got a gang of cousins and family before me from the set, bro. You know what I mean? So, it was like, but, you know, you can't even really blame that shit, though, because a nigga could have went another way. You know what I mean? A nigga really could have went another way, but that was the way a nigga wanted to go, you know? And shit, shit happens. You get stuck in this shit. By the time you really realize and, and, and wake up, right? It ain't, it ain't never too late. It's just you you realize what what you have passed up. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna say it was all bad because banging really wasn't all bad for me, my nigga. You know what I mean? It just it just, it just yeah. other shit other shit you could have been applying in life. You see, like my shit, like you know, like like I, I was, I knew I was gonna bang. I was gonna gang bang either way. I was gonna be a blood or a crib because I grew up watching Tupac, Easy, and you gotta understand exactly where I'm at. I'm in, you know, where I'm at on, on our teacher Long Beach Boulevard. So it's you yeah. going to gang bang growing up in the '90s there. So, but I knew I was gonna be it. So it was just when and where. Like that, that is that was just for me. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna be no blood though. You know what I mean? Like. And the that crazy thing when I say either blood or crib because because before I was game banging, I didn't like the hood I was in. I knew I knew uh, that that I like our hood, I grew up in my hood, so it wasn't like these is niggas crips. I didn't say I didn't look at them as crips. Like these my uncles, they are these niggas that live next door to me. You feel me? Always giving me yeah. dollars. So I never really got that group inside. When it, but J Bone and all them niggas, your big homies, J Bone. See, you come from a, a whole crip city, and ain't no blood right. in your city any motherfucker. So you know but, what I mean? but, but my big homie, my this is how I came from hood. My big homie, when I was in middle school, I was banging, we was banging, I, I wasn't banging hood, I was just banging East Side Crip. I don't yeah. know what the fuck East Side Crip was. I was just fuck it. I, I can't claim no certain gangs. I'm not from there. But East Side Crip, you can say you can say that anywhere. So then everybody else was from babies and twenties and everybody else hoods. So I was really getting money in middle school though. My big homie went to jail. He got the dope case. So so he cut dope case from when I was in sixth grade all the way to I graduated. So within that whole time, I was clicking up with other hoods. Like that's one thing I always respect the twenties for the twenty bloods. That's why I thought I was gonna be twenty bloods. They, I respect how they get in on Crip Street. Them niggas got them niggas get money over there. Them niggas uh, break they break they says off with little homies into uh, different groups. And them niggas niggas was passing. Niggas was passing. So I'm passing so much with these niggas. Hey, to be told though, all the bloods be. <laughs> All the bloods really got money though. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about my experience. I, I was fucking with the 20s, the 27th Street, the, the yeah. Street, 27, 29th, the Hustle Man, uh, Baby Hustle Man, uh, Scarface, uh, Big Ball, all them niggas. But them niggas, yeah. Big Santa Claus, them niggas was really had missions. Like they had, they breaked us off into like six man groups, really hitting shit. And I was here passing with them so much that that they, you know, once you hang with niggas, they will identify you with them. So, but then my big army. My big homie now goes in the pen the whole time. He's the word got the word got to the pen. Like oh, you hang with the blood, so but like nigga was you know when I come home, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna nigga slap you around. <laughs> you know, nigga, nigga, you grew up as, as a kid, like nigga, that's your dad, like your pops. You feel like nigga, uh, uh, okay, let me hey, stop hanging over here. Okay, come on, like you know. So I know that nigga, that nigga hustle man. That nigga, that nigga just walked by the little hookah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Nigga, I know. Mama, we used to, we used to, we used to take like, like, we used to buy like three sevens a piece. Nigga, go to Skid Row, dress up as Buns, put us, you know, nigga, on Chris Street. This is what we used to do for like two years straight. For hey, nigga, used to manage them He used to manage them Belasian twins, huh? 
Yeah, he used to manage with the Legend Twins, uh, fr- yeah. uh, Franco, uh, yeah, Joe Post, uh, Ty Dollars, and all them twin niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Cub oh, Hooker Lounge. Cud, Cud just opened that's up my a Hooker Lounge. Cud, Cud, my age. That nigga burnt out. Cud talk fast, though. That's one thing about a lot of bloods. They talk fast and slick, Cud. Like, slow down, Cuz. Hold up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, you got hey, you, you to realize blood, bloods didn't start beef with other bloods to the mid-90s, my nigga. You know, they always got along, homie. So, and bloods always did it bigger than us, my nigga. We were just my more rowdy. We well, was I, more rowdy. That's, like that's why I always give respect to the 20s, cuz. Them niggas, yeah, we, oh, they were just passing. Fool. I'm talking nigga, we on was riding skid dusty on skid row, cuz. You talking about freeway, nigga, on skid row, nigga. We dressed up as buns, nigga, in serving, nigga. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, that's my first time. That was my first time. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I just say you know collaborate, what? nigga, sitting in them tents, nigga, acting like they smoking. On on the nigga, for two years, our shift was, nigga, from 12 to either 12 o'clock or 1 in the morning to 5 in the morning, bro. Yeah. Hey, nigga, I know, I know about Fifth and St. Julian. I know about Fifth and St. Julian, nigga, and all that old shit, nigga. They talk about fruit, nigga. Nigga was out here, nigga. That's yeah. I know about all that shit, cuz. Really? It's a million dollars on the road, nigga. If you can dig it, it's just too much, nigga, under covers. Yeah. But see, blood yeah, niggas always, they, they always got it, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because they down you know, they down so much. They know who's who. Nigga, I, nigga, I was amazed every day on Skid Row. Like, this shit is... I, yeah? And you're not really a bum. You just like me. You dressed. Okay. Yeah? The shit is crazy down there. Yeah, that shit crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah. That nigga looking like, damn, nigga, whole L.A. nigga. Yeah, two L.A. niggas. Yeah. Nah, nigga, I'm just uh, dressed up as a bum, nigga, hustling. Nigga. Oh, my mama, if you ever go to Skid Row, Bob, no, you have to, bro. If you dress like that in Skid Row, cause you either the police or nigga, you like, bro, like they gonna you get you going to jail. They gonna get you going to jail. Niggas is intense with nigga needles everywhere, bro. Like nigga Skid Row, cause like niggas. Bro. You hey, you cut. know, hey, you, you know what cut. turned me off? That's what turned me off about downtown when I went the downtown, needle. bro. I seen a nigga sticking needles all in their necks and shit. I was like, this shit ain't for me, cuz I'm cool on this shit. I was so scared that a bum might just hit me two in the morning with a little poke, nigga, with an A needle. Yeah, huh. I was like, I'm cool on this shit. And then the police sitting right there. Shit, the police station right there, cuz, Spliff. Yeah. Right there with 7th Street, my nigga. The police station right there, literally, bro. That's, that will let you know they don't give a fuck about us, my nigga. You know what I mean? They let you... Hey, look, hey, look, have y'all tripped? Have you tripped, Pico, that now the police in Chicago can't even jump out and chase you? Damn, I did see that. I did now, see that. Now, now, Pico, just think. Right now, Chicago is the worst fucking city it is, bro. You know what I mean? Chicago, a nigga died, nigga, 20 niggas died a day out there. Why would you make a law where the police can't chase a nigga? Like, Come on, bro. Like, yeah. look at the bigger yeah. picture. Like, yeah. You feel me? Why y'all ain't been called a National Guards in there to, you know, I was talking to my G homie, one of my G homies. I said, look, homie, defund the police, that's cool for niggas like us. Well, I ain't gonna say us because I don't do shit, no, but that's cool. <laughs> for, that's cool for street mm. niggas, cuz. Yeah. But what about what about your mama and your grandmama and your sister, people that's not involved in this shit, bro? Right. You feel me? We all gonna need some type of order, cause you know what I mean. It's just like you said when you go to jail. I mean, FDA was saying it's ordering that motherfucker, bro. You can't just run around doing what you want to do. It's, it ain't no nigga. That's the saying. Ain't no nigga bigger than the program, bro. So you need order in the street, my nigga. We all to be like. Raising animals around this motherfucker, cuz so we don't need that for the people that's not involved in that, bro. What if you in jail, your brother in jail, your cousin in jail? It happens all the time. I didn't seen that shit going up my whole life. Well, all of us in jail, all the males, and it's 40, 50 males in the family. Everybody gone. You all right, one I mean? getting out, nigga. So, one get out, one still in. One, he get out, he go back. Yeah. Now, what about? Your mamas and aunties and grandmas that's not a part. Would you want them getting robbed just maliciously like that? Do you want any young nigga just running up robbing your grandmama or your mama? Or, you know, you need the police, dog. You know what I mean? 
And the, the police job is to catch you, and yours is to get away from it, Jack. You know what I mean? So everybody stick to their job, my nigga. No, nah, real you shit. Know what what I mean? Hey, without structure, without structure, you're going to have chaos. Right. Without structure, it's always chaos, bro. Real so shit. why would you, why would I just seen a video? I know these young niggas had to be under 15. Everybody got sticks and switches. And, and and them drums on they these young niggas had to be under where the fuck they getting these guns from, my nigga? You know what I mean? You talking like, about that video in that gym? I think they was in the back. Yeah, I, I, I saw that one too. I saw that one too. I saw that one too. It was like 10, 15 of them. I'm like, hey, I saw that. that one too. But I'm I'm talking about a, a music video. I saw that one, but I'm talking about a music. I'm like, bro, how the hell is these young niggas? These niggas all look under 15, bro. And uh, I know you can get guns. We wasn't getting them type of guns at, at that age. Nigga, we was having deuce fires and deuce deuces and a 380 at the most. Oh, nigga, you know I mean? got a 380. You can bring a 380 too. That's what I'm saying. But but why would you why would you stop the police from chasing niggas in the worst because, city in the worst city in America? Why? The only thing did that shit, the, they did the that shit in Houston is because I know the, I know Chicago be clapping them niggas down though when they be chasing. They them. Have. That's the only thing they I can think of. So what? That's the police, nigga. Clap back, nigga. Nigga, the yeah. sheriff. Well, I come from the sheriff's gonna run to a gunfight, nigga. Yeah. They want to kill you, nigga. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I think of. But but bro, but think about it. Hey, look, I'm just thinking rationally. I'm not thinking there's no criminal. I'm not thinking there's no street nigga. I mean, I'm talking. Well, I'm talking right. I'm not talking from a street nigga perspective. I'm talking from a human individual, bro. What? Why the fuck y'all ain't being called the National Guards to come contain that shit, my nigga? It's because they want it to happen, bro. Oh, yeah. That's fine. You know what I mean? They want all them niggas to kill each other, my nigga. And then these young niggas thinking it's cool. Just think about they rappers. You be a rapper for a month and then you dead right after you make your first music video. You know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. That shit ain't Fact. cool, homie. Fact. That shit ain't cool at all, my nigga. You know what I mean? It's really sad, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, but they brainwash us to think that this shit cool, my but nigga. But it, but 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 it goes it goes it goes go, it go, it go, you have to put a little bit on us too though fool. You have to no, put, I put you, I put the whole blame where they just doing it and we just uh, huh huh. No but, look, no look look. I I put I put the blame on you know you know you know this is why I really don't support that Black Lives Matter and I don't, I don't mean to keep talking. I'm gonna let y'all niggas talk too. But I'm saying look 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 the point Stanley. No, I'm gonna I tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this, dog. If you don't respect you, I'm not gonna respect you. Right. So we 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 get mad when the police kill one of us, but let me kill three niggas. I'm gonna be the hood hero. You feel me? We gotta right. get black lives gotta matter when black people kill black people, my nigga. And that's one thing I always say. Where where my where I, the reason why I started my whole publishing shit. We gotta own our own shit. That's what I'm saying, though, my nigga. Like, don't don't praise me. Don't praise me as a killer and all that. When I just go knock down five niggas, but then when the police do it, you want to tear up our own that's, stores. That's one thing I respect. Shit, that's we go shit. shopping at. I try to pack like, my shit off of Barry Gordy. Cause that nigga, you don't want to discuss no really no politics or no street criminal, no criminal nothing in the music and on his brand. Is that you know? That's why I, Barry Gordy is one of the coldest things to do it because he stood on principle. He stood on what he believed. He stood on faith in God. You feel me? So yeah. that's where we have to own our shit and start. But see, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, really speaking on us. I ain't speaking on no rich niggas. I'm speaking on niggas that 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 gotta live this shit every day, my nigga. You know, Barry. And that's the one thing I told my homies. One thing I told Barry my homies, Gordy never got to come to the ghetto, my nigga. He, but he but he went though. He went to the ghettos to go get. No, I know that. I know that. I know that, yeah. but it starts with us. I, we, I got homies in the hood, nigga. It's, it's a nigga. It's a million rappers in LA, nigga. How are you talking about drill music? How are you want to be? Nigga, you're not even drilling shit. How are you? Why do you? 
Is all your music about drilling and shooting niggas? You don't own that. You don't own a nigga. You got to go ask another nigga to go get a hand gun. Hey, look. Oh, my little homie gave me some type of handshake. I'm like, cuz, don't shake my hand like that, Logan. Like, I'm not with none of that, nigga. Like, you, you talking about ops, nigga? That's Chicago shit, nigga. Nigga, we call them enemies, nigga. We don't call the police 12. We call them one time, nigga. I'm with the old right. gentleman. I'm with my era, nigga. I'm not with no new shit, nigga. Like, I'm not... Let no young niggas influence me on how to thank but you. But it's all about music. Because our music is spiritual chants. And you know, if you know what spiritual chants is, nigga, that's just, nigga, what you manifesting for your life. Everything spiritual and what you think and say is spiritual. So it's going to come back to you. So that's where it starts. And and the first thing they do, with, and if you know about music, that's the highest influencer because you got to add them spiritual drums to that bitch. Once you yeah. add them spiritual uh, uh, percussions, them, uh, okay, now, now you put a chant to it. Okay, if you know hey, every and I'm try, glad you try. said that. So hey, look, got, I'm, got, that's why you got this nigga. This shit is hey, look, this shit is hey, look I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you said that, right? Because I, I give him no glory at all. But you know, the devil was the highest angel that knew how to about the music when he got kicked out of heaven. That's, right? that's why I told Swift. That's so why I told Swift. I know this shit is the influence. Even clowns got to say, even clowns got to say some real shit from time to time to keep the to keep the fucking crowd that, focused. Exactly. Hey, real shit. No, I'm with you. Hey, hey, Stanley, I'm right there with you, bro. I'm right there with That's you. You know what I mean? Not even say respect him, just don't fuck with us. I will never fuck with us. I know. Split asked me some shit too, and it's not like it's not like I don't I don't hate the nigga or not. I don't even know the nigga to hate him, but I don't hate him. I just will never. I, 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 I feel like he said a lot of real show. shit. He said a lot of real shit. The devil say the devil he said a lot of fucked up shit. shit Cause you know what the I mean. The devil always got to say real shit from time to time to keep their fucking worshippers niggas grounded, fool. Yeah, no, and that's real talk, bro. That's why and I would that, never that's... sit down and have a real conversation with cuz. No, look, that's why I'm glad you said what you said about that music shit, bro. You know that shit. music. It's I mean, I didn't feel it myself, bro. I swear to God, nigga. On my pops, bro, we rolling. Me and my pops had to throw out an easy. Remember that? Fuck the police, nigga. It was so. Hey, that shit had us gone so bad, and I'm not glorifying it, nigga. We was ready to go shoot one time, nigga. Right? My pops threw the whole tape out the window, cause like we had to get on some uh some Teddy Pendergrass or something, cause like you know what I mean? Because the influence of the shit. Bro, you know the song. Yeah, I, was the pump, I decided I was going to start being a crip. 2001 huh? when the Insiders came out, that crip pop, this real yeah. crip. Every yeah. nigga in my age, that's when we turned crip. crip. The Insiders, yeah. crip, yeah. crip, 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 talk shit, not bust your lip. Hey, look, see, all that shit had a nigga gang banging, cuz right, and this before this. This before I was really right here with it, cause what you just said, like I was you know, I wasn't paying attention. Like, I was, I wasn't like paying you. attention. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention that that shit is influencing the nigga, and and that shit gets spiritual, bro. You know it's what I mean? Terms. That shit gets spiritual, bro. And I feel like I feel like we all spiritual people. Everybody we're just don't get all got the power. That's the one thing. Well, yeah. I, I know I'm a god, and I got we the do. power. No, 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 you're right. Everybody got it. It's just some will never catch it, though. You know what I mean? It's just like when Unc asked me, I said, Bro, I ain't did nothing different. I'm just covered by the blood of Jesus, I believe. You know what I mean? Because God know who gonna catch the spiritual realm, who gonna catch this, who gonna catch that, and not saying it's me, not saying it's me, but I do see it, my nigga, and I'm glad that's why I'm saying. I'm glad you spoke on that because a lot of people don't catch it, bro. Like they, they just think it's just they never, music. They never they they were stuck in the hood, bro. They were stuck yeah. on nigga 112th Street. That nigga, once you go out and start different new different shit, bro, it's going in in everything. Every time you meet someone or go yeah. something new, it's going in, it's going to unlock the inner you, fool. Exactly. Hey, look, you notice though, Stanley, when you listen to some R and B. You want to fuck a bitch or something, chill with a bitch or something, and, 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 and you just want to chill when you listen to some oldies. I ain't never got banged on playing R&B. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> no, but when you listen to the oldies, you just chilling like you, you want to- never got banged on listening up. to oldies. Huh? You ain't never got banged on listening to no other genre except no. rap. 
No, that's what I'm saying. When you listen to rap, it makes you, you like play that this. Wrong you, nigga in the yeah, wrong you nigga like this in the court now. Stuff. Like you ready to hunt some shit, cuz you know what I mean? It's the type of energy, fool. Spiritual chat. Low frequency. Yeah. The frequency. Hey, you know? Keep it real. That's why I don't even like rap no more, bro. That's why I really wasn't up on that that uh QC shit. Like, you know what I mean? I don't even I, I try not to even pay attention to that shit. I know really rap no is just not the same no more. It's just not hey, niggas don't rap. I just niggas try to make that money. That's it. Niggas yeah, can't rap. I just try to make my little dollars off of it. Cause you know what I mean? If I can put right, it right, in it. I, I want to ask Pico, Pico, what you feel about what they just said about the rap genre? Do you feel like the rap genre as as it is right now is one Nazi of the biggest? Right. When you really think about it, Nazi hold on, right. hold, 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 hold on, Stanley. It's yeah. one of the big. It's, it's one of the biggest influences to the to the crime in our community. We the only genre that lyrics get brought in courtrooms. I ain't heard Toby Keith or the Rascal Flats. I ain't heard none of them goddamn getting their lyrics pulled up in no courtroom. It's just niggas. So I, I feel like, yeah, we damn near. And granted, it's fucked up. Niggas should have freedom of speech. You feel me? Can I ask you something, though? Because I don't know. Let me ask you something. What's up? Because I, I don't know about the white artists you named, but do they got bodies, like, documented under their belt? Or just nah, any of those records I, under their belt, because you have that. You have to. You have to say that. You have to say that. They probably nah, kill people with that. DWIs. Yeah, that's about you it. have to say that. I don't that's know it. about the, but you have to bring that up though, because you, one thing I'm not going to let nobody do is play one side of the fence. Oh, I don't no, really a, a lot of the niggas do but look, got, got no, but look, the them artists, got, them white artists, he talking about them niggas might right. talk about. Yeah, I'll be drunk driving, nigga. Right. They don't bring that shit up in court. They got about ten. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's why I asked. Yeah. You got to be hey, because all the out. talking about deaths. They really are here killing niggas in this documented. But, but look, so these white boys. He's so talking about. They talking, talking about the lyrics. They talking about drugs and all this white. They don't bring that shit up when they catch DUIs or or they get yeah. caught with a motherfucking uh, eight ball or something. They don't bring that shit up. You shit, know what I mean? Talk- Y'all know we targeted though. So like, oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Right, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Don't come. Hey, man. Come on, man. We're talking for a fact. I've been I've been quiet programming this goddamn computer, but look, man, that shit that shit is going on these days in time. What they rapping about that is contributing to violence, bro, because it manipulates the mind, bro. So they make it seem like it's okay, bro. When they enter something in court, you enter that shit. So like at the end of the day, if you go in that hole, you rapping, you can just be rapping, or you can be giving specific details about what a cop saw, bro. That's, that's what, what I'm gets you convicted, with. bro. They right. be talking that's about specific saying. details. Right. Only the Art- killer right. know. That's what I'm saying. Is it documented? Because they are really telling shit like what me and you just really did. It's not a story. It's not a rap. Because a rap is a story. If you really want to be technical, rapping is telling a story. Are you telling, like, you know? So hey, look. Is it like modern day testimony then? Like, Yo. they, they, they... Hey, pin that shit, Pico. Pin that. What Deuce, Deuce Data just uh, said. Pin that shit. Now hold it right there. That's some real yeah. shit right there. Yeah. Read that shit. Man, look at the numbers of youth crime shooting between 2000. Then look at it. The reason I say that is because drill music became national. That's real shit. If you pay attention, if you pay attention, it was only two errors that that had That's the most. That had the, and I'm going by the books. If, and then go about the statistics, the years, and the numbers. If you pay attention, there's only two areas that had the most killings for blacks, and that was gangster rap, and that was drill music. That's real shit. Man, that's real shit. <laughs> so, like, real you, shit. Ain't you ain't never heard. You ain't never heard no nigga kill no nigga off no RB or no oldies or no jazz or nothing. Hey, hey, FDA. Hey, hey, FDA. What's the business, bro? Hey, 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 man. Hey, hey, we finna go ride on this nigga, man. Put it, hey, put it in that currency, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> man, go ride the city off a day? <laughs> right. Nigga, get out right. of the city. Hey, 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 you know what, though, Spliff? You probably can get away with some currency because he don't really be talking all that. Just kill, yeah. kill, kill. That's my boy. I don't have no fucking with currency. I don't have no currency. Hey, that's my whole point, nigga. That's my Bro, whole point. I know what you saying. Right. Yeah, nigga. Hey, put in, put in that devil to do, nigga. Let's go, let's go slide on this nigga. A nigga had yeah. everybody get high and go to sleep. <laughs> hey, that's real uh, shit. 
That's why I'm saying. This shit is all still content, man. Like, this shit is deeper and bigger than, you know, it's bigger than what it is. And like I said, until we own our own shit, it ain't going to never change. And that's all we got. Hey, hey, but see, we, but you know, you know what they're going to do next? Because you know what they're hey, going to do next? And if you ain't paying attention, you see they already drop. Niggas already, so niggas is starting to get woke right now, right? The last five years. Pay attention to what happened in the last five years. Now they got a, 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 a AI right. uh, this rapper now. They just they just signed FM Mecca. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen the that? Robot. The robot. The robot. And cut down there made more streams and more more followers and fans and fucking that short period before they dropped them. So all you rappers that signed these labels, what they what do you think they're gonna do when when they find out you woke and not want to talk about that shit? You want to get your independence back? They're gonna shelf your ass and put out these fake AI uh, uh, hey, look, and rappers. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna tell you the, I'm gonna tell you the real. It's bigger than us, my nigga. It's a battle between good and evil, homie. It's, Sorry, it's, way man, bigger, it's, it's, it's way bigger than just the, the makeup of, of, of us, bro. It's it's way more spiritual, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But the, only way, the, only way, uh, the only way a person could really, like, grab you in evilness is on you. That's what I'm saying. But, but see, niggas don't understand that, bro. If you don't understand it, you're going to say, fuck it. It's going to go through one ear and not the other, my nigga. Like... When you try to tell a nigga like, bro, this shit is spiritual and this shit is bigger than us, my nigga. Hey, I'm going to tell all you niggas when we get off here, go, go just go listen to a gospel song and see how good you feel, how better you feel, and then go listen to some rap shit, my nigga. Right. See, it's, 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 it's a battle. It's a battle between good and evil, homie. And, 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 and evil, evil got more influence on the earth than good do, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So, that's why it's like these niggas, these young rapper niggas, they get themselves to the enemy, homie. They get themselves to the devil, and then he kill them because he don't need you no more, my nigga. You know what I mean? You know that's them raps? Them raps gonna go off. Them raps gonna go off, bro. Oh, you ain't locked in the darkness. You don't need me no more. I, 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 tell, I tell my wife all the time, I tell I say God telling me to sit still for a reason. For real. You know what I say? God telling me to sit still, don't go certain places. Don't like I'm really not enjoying myself because it's like God getting me prepared for something. You feel what I'm saying? And like what people need to understand is that if something major is about to happen, and as black people, we gotta get ready to fight. We keep on that the objective is to kill as many as we can. So when the fight comes, we don't have the numbers to win. But if they know if we get it together, if they know if we truly get it together, bro, they know that we can defeat anything that come against us, bro. But they're going to keep on creating division, bro, and nonsense. You feel me? Black people, and as, as a whole, black people is the only race that's glorified for negativity. We the only race have to belittle each other, bro, to get some type of view or get some type of, like, recognition. Spliff, no, I tell him all the time, and you'll never catch me down, down to yeah. a black person ever. I tell him all the time. Any interview I decline, I, I, interviews that I decline, I, 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 this is nothing, bro. I, I'm, I'm talking about build more love, bro. It's over. Hey, let me tell you this. I, I will say this real quick. Hey, that nigga, hey, Stanley is my, is my, yeah. is my, is my blog's personal uh, auditor. That nigga will, if I post something he don't like, that nigga will be in my DM. I'm so like, come on, bro. That ain't yeah. it, bro. Like, <laughs> I, understand, I understand your job, but it's bigger than it's bigger than your job, yeah. bro. It's bigger than your yeah. job, bro. It's bigger than this. Yeah, stand, stand, it's either stand, building yeah. or it's destroying. It's either or. But you know, you got you got these niggas, though. You got these niggas, homie, that, that, that. I ain't going to call them house niggas or nothing, but, you know, because every nigga feel like, when you come from nothing, everybody feel like they got to find their way to get up. It's just like Vlad and, and, and uh, 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 Adam and, uh, you know, you niggas can come get y'all stories to sniff, nigga, make his shit go up, nigga, or, you feel what I'm saying? Like, right. nigga, you niggas go to these niggas, and all they do is have you niggas telling on yourself, nigga. Snitching on, I be looking, I be like, damn, these white boys is cold cut. They ask them a question, and then they 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 side swipe the question, but they come back in with another way of asking them the same question, and then they answer it and get caught up, nigga. 
You understand what I'm saying? It's like, right. you know, when you dealing with mental midgets, cuz, like, everybody don't catch shit, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like, a nigga can say some slick shit to you, and then they go right past your head, bro. You know what I mean? You probably that's why I mean, I'm gonna tell you what that's why I guess they trying to like smut my name like the no jumper in the, in the glass because I'm not one of them. Like you can't just run past like say slick to my head, fool, and it's like the shit that they like you know they send an itinerary like with them on the ads and all that, like like nah fool, I'm not with that. Like Yeah, like, they just probably you gotta you gotta keep name. going. And it's so just like I just saw some shit, right? You know, A D my little homie, cuz. I just saw some shit when it was like a hundred Mexicans went up there, right? Adam was nowhere to be found. And, and I, I, you know, I, I want the little homie to keep his shit going on and all that shit. Like, I ain't, you know, that's why I ain't even spoke on it. But I didn't like know, that. Either. I didn't like I that. I hope either. my niggas see, I hope my niggas see what's going on, cuz it's like the saying all money ain't good money, cuz you know what I mean? You know what I'm I hope my niggas see because what niggas don't understand, the messages don't play no game. Y'all could clown them, talk bad about them all. Nigga, the messages get with it, nigga. You know what I mean? Now they know where this studio at. They ain't gonna do shit right now. Of course, because everybody is too open. They know how to sit on the motherfucking wait, nigga, two, three months, nigga, and niggas to wait. The, 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 the real niggas that really outside. Yeah, the, the niggas that really outside. Hey, yeah. Niggas don't be seeing niggas don't be seeing what's real, homie. You know what I mean? Niggas don't be seeing, but by 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 them leaving the little homie like that by himself, bro, even if he had a thumper. You couldn't have thumped all the Mexicans that was in that motherfucker, my nigga. And, and no disrespect to the Rasa, because I love Mexicans, bro. But I'm just saying the division the, the they try to cause in between us, my nigga. Yeah. And then, don't be, and then don't be right there for it, though. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it was just so coincidental you had a poker tournament or wherever the fuck you was at. Right. When all these right. Mexicans come up here. All right, now, I will say this the, the, to, to straighten it up. Adam, Adam, Adam runs that that platform, but I one of his, but well, one of his workers was the one that really right. that, that, yeah, that, Flacco. Flacco, Flacco, yeah. yeah. But yeah. but it still goes it still goes to the boss because the boss is the last one to do the check off. That's true. So you exactly. can't, you can't, hey, you can't say that. the boss hey, is the last hey, one. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm gonna tell you some shit. Some, but look, some shit is worth more than. Fuck all this this TV screen, this 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 whatever. Nigga, if Slip got a problem, nigga, I'm finna come stand right here with Slip, nigga. And we either gonna win together or we gonna lose together, nigga. Point blank period, nigga. My morals is intact, nigga, on how they supposed to be, bro. I'm you understand what I'm saying? Either. So I, I understand all that, but you niggas should not let Flacco Flacco from New Hat, wherever the fuck he that nigga ain't even from LA, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, he, he, but what the fuck? North, North, that's the only black nigga I ever heard from North Dakota, bro. I don't know like, what the fuck he know about South right? Central politics. What do you know about black and brown politics, bro? You know what he was doing. You right, like you said, didn't you? Like, come on, they, man. They, like, well, I'm gonna right, shut the fuck up. That's why I don't talk so much. I'm gonna uh, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna say this, bro. And that's but 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 at the same time, bro. That's that. That's that the no jumper panel and everybody else. They should have they should have really screwed that nigga on the politics of LA because he don't know how close it, it how close it came to being 2000 again. That's true. That's true. You feel me? That's, That's what I'm saying. That shit should have really, 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 really what's up. You know, like I know it only take one fucking idiot. Just one. Yeah. It only take one idiot to turn some shit all the way up. Every nigga can't control every nigga. You feel That's me? How it is. That's the biggest how it nigga, is. the biggest nigga right now, named that ring in LA, can't control the whole motherfucking city. Trust me. You yeah. feel me? He I mean, can't folks, control no, everybody no, around no, him. Like, like, like one man or one gang run LA. They all it takes like is one way. crash dummy, my nigga. It don't work like you that. You know what I mean? That's all it takes is one nigga to say fuck these in this yeah. town. You know what I mean? Huh. And then these right. niggas, I know they doing it personally. I don't feel like real shit should be on this 
It's internet any motherfucking way, bro. Yeah. They gonna do what they gonna do. You know what I mean? They gonna do what they gonna do. Like we OTB, nigga always ride clean cause I'm OCD I went and got it, brought it back, that's a whole TD I can't never be no trick, I get these hoes me I can't never be no trick, but I keep one inside my Nigga got commercial Nigga got commercial in this bitch Hey, 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 bop, bop, bop You ain't got no, you ain't got your clothes, you ain't got your clothing line with you? Yeah Oh, pop, nigga, good thing. Hey, man, follow me on the gram, too, nigga. I need my uh, my long coat, man. It's the winter hey, coming up, too. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, you know they took my Instagram, cuz. <laughs> Don't feel bad, G. They did the same thing to me. No, I'm talking to you, too. Hey, look. I said, I said it just ain't meant for me to be on that shit no more anyway, dog. Yeah, dog. You know what I mean? I need one of them French coats, though. My shit kind of fucked up right now, but hey, you got some Kanye shit going on. We gotta pick out the bag, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I need the trench coat, man. You know, I got it for the bloods, the crips, the grapes, the hoovers. I got the red and blue ones. Yeah, I'm out of here. I appreciate you, man. You gone, Stanley, man? Yeah, it's about to die. I'm about to hop in this pool, man. Charge this phone. Man, I appreciate it, yeah, bro. The sun bright when you hit, bro. It's nighttime when we hit, nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah. Enjoy it, nigga. So, I appreciate it. Hey, so if I, uh, uh, send me, uh, follow me on Instagram. I follow back, Rich Crip 100. Yeah, man. I ain't got no Instagram, man. Description, too. Uh, uh, get my number from Spliff, man, so I can get the, yeah. uh... Hey, I'm gonna get it. I think I got it, though, already, but I'm gonna get it from Spliff, though. I'll be back in the town on Monday, so I love you, fool. Yeah, all love, my nigga. I'm gonna get it from Spliff, because I ain't, I ain't got no ground. Hey, look. I said fuck that Instagram shit. They trying to reek with everybody. I don't need that shit anyway. Hey, <laughs> say my G, stay away from all the weird people. Say, don't get the monkey pox, my nigga. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah.